So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and I am actually on vacation already but I didn't want to leave you without any videos at all uh, so I will try to make one or two a week um, let's see how that goes anyhow, um, for today's video I actually want to answer a question I got um, about how to create a JSON file for Power BI uh, themes, for you know, creating the themes in Power BI. I've actually shared a template with you a while ago, and uh, this person was actually uh, using it, but had some problems. And I understand because it's not that straightforward. So I promise you on that video that I will make a little bit uh, more in-depth tutorial on how to create these JSON files and I'm going to do it today so hopefully this video together with the template that I made it will help you do this but uh, we need a little bit of theory actually before jim jumping into um, action or you know before actually writing anything on a JSON file and it is to go a little bit through the structure of how these JSON files work. And this is what we're going to do um, first. After that, we will actually go through um, an example of how to do it. But the JSON file structure is as follows. You have a visual style and this is basically the container for the code. So you don't have to change anything in here. Then you have visual name. Here you have to change these with the name of the visual, like if it is a matrix or a line chart or a bar chart or whatever it is. I'll show you an example. Style name, I'm actually not sure what this is. Uh, I always use a star or an asterisk. I don't know if I'm supposed to write anything else in here. If anybody knows, let me know. And then we have the card name. A card name is basically the properties you can set for a visual or the they call this a property I don't know how to call this the, you know the different settings that you have for a visual and then each setting has properties so we will go through one on one one by one to see how to make this so if we start with visual name no with sorry with visual styles the highest level this is basically again the container for the formatting for all visuals so you don't need to change anything you just write visual styles and then you start putting in your visuals within these brackets the next one is visual name and visual name is basically the name of the visual you know the name of these things that you are actually adding into uh, into your report so there are two names you have the name or in Power BI, which is if you hover over these graphs, you will actually see the name. But you don't use that name, of course. They have a name for the JSON file. So what is the name of this JSON file? You can actually see this on my template. Let me show you. So this is the template that I've created for managing this JSON file and um, it is published online. I will put this link uh, down below so you can access it. And the first thing you need to do is of course select a visual. Let's say that you would like to uh, format a matrix. matrix. Um, we have it here, you, you have this search. and the first thing you will see when you write the name, here you search for the name that you see in Power BI. So if you hover over the actual visual, you will see the names you see here. Build map. So I have used exactly the same names as this, so it will work perfectly. Okay, so you just hover in and find the name here. And once you select it, you will see the name of the JSON file, the, the name that should be on the JSON file. In this case, a matrix is called a pivot table. If you have a donut chart, it is called donut and so on and so forth. So this is the first variable that you need on your um, JSON file. So once you have that, if you remember the style that we have to use, first we write visual styles that we don't change and then we have to change visual name with the name of the visual. If we have a matrix, we will change that to pivot table. 
So our code would look like this, visual styles and then pivot table. The next thing you need to do is the card name. And the card name is basically when you've selected a visual, then you will have these cards or these different settings for a visual. You have general, matrix style. This is, for example, the cards for the matrix visual. Let me show you again. So here in Power BI, we have this one selected. And as you can see, these are the cards. If I select this one, you see that the cards change it. So this is basically the different settings you have behind the different visualizations. Now let's not break the file. But for the matrix, this, these are the cards that we have available. Okay. So now that we know that a card is, there are of course two names. You have the name of uh, Power BI. This is the name that you actually will see in Power BI, physically will see it. So you see general, matrix style, grid, and then you will see on my template the name you have to use for the JSON file. So if you want to change the settings for general, then you will have to use general, this one, with the without the uh, uppercases. Matrix style was not available, I couldn't find it, and grid is grid, okay? So how you, do you write that in the JSON file? You have visual styles, visual name, card name. Here you have visual styles, pivot table, because we're changing the matrix, and we've already changed that, and now let's say that we want to change grid. Then we just change card name by grid, okay? And the next one is the property name. And there is the names that you will find below a um, card. So once you click on grid, then you will see these properties. And these are actually the properties that you can see on my file. And you have um, you have uh, this is actually the wrong name. You should say property name. Sorry for that. But you have vert vert grid you see it there vert grid so in json it's called grid vertical horse grid grid horizontal and row pattern is row pattern and you can see these on the uh, template that i have done on power bi let me show you so this is the online theme that you have available to your template again if we go to matrix we want to do changes in matrix. I have actually added this, this is new, a picture of how the cards, which cards are available for matrix. It helps me, I'm a very visual person, so I need this. Sorry about how little the picture is. <laughs> I'll try to fix this uh, on the next um, version. But we say matrix, and then we said grid. That's the one that we want to change. So we have to write grid. And then we go drill through properties and then we will see the actual properties for the grid. We have horizontal grid, vertical grid, boolean is true or false, fill is you have to add color, numeric is a number. Um, yeah, so you can actually see how it is. And the next one we have uh, fonts. No the enumeration if it is available is not always actually i don't think it is available here sometimes it is sometimes it's not so this is taken from uh, power bi documentation here so if they haven't added here i don't have it either and then here we have the actual fonts that are available so you don't have to go to power bi you can just copy it from here and here you have some examples of how different um, visuals look like and uh, I will send the link to my um, blog post where I actually have also a version of a JSON file but what we are going to do now is that we're going to put this into practice but before that let's do some last thing if we go in here we have the property name and then we, let's say that we want to change the grid vertical so we will write here grid vertical 
and then it said boolean, so it's true or false. So in this case, we say we want to have it true, and this is how you write it, and then you close all the brackets. So easy, right? Some things to take into consideration. Um, you only need to specify the formats that you want to affect. Otherwise, it will be Power BI standard. What Power BI standard is, <laughs> you have to figure it out because there's no way to know. Um, if you've been working with Power BI for quite a while, you will be able to intuitive say which one is the standard. But basically, if what you see there is not what you want, it means that you have to change it. Um, you can add an asterisk, the, you know, the star, if you want a setting to apply to all visuals, and if you have date time, you have to have this horrible format. But other than that, this is basically it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the settings of a slicer. Okay, so you see how, how it actually works. So let's do that. Okay, so what you see here is the Power BI, uh, Curval Power BI theme. And this theme you can actually download from the website. You have a link below on the video. Okay, so you will be able to download it exactly as is with the changes that I'm going to make now. So how does this work? Um, let's say this is our uh, template. Let's say that this is slicer. We want to change the sen section selection control so they are both on by default. And we want to add a, an, an outline. We want to actually add a button only you know, this line. I think it looks very pretty on Slicer. So by default it's not. And we want to add it, but we, we don't want to add it here because we want to add it for all these slicers on the Power BI file. So how do we do this? Um, if we go back to our JSON file uh, here, there is nothing for slicers yet, so we need to add a new visual name. So we, you can actually add the visual name exactly as you like. I should have this in alphabetical order because it would be much easier to find. I will change that. I'm doing this step by step. But let's put it here as SSS. Then I can change them easier. So if you remember how we do this first, Okay, so to do this, you could actually start writing in here what you need, but uh, another option is actually to copy the structure that um, we had in the beginning of the presentation and to actually modify in there, if that helps you. Visual styles we don't need to add because that is already at the top in here, so that is not necessary. Then we have the visual name. So what is the visual name for Slicer? We have to go to our um, Power BI, <laughs> how do we call it, template. You have it also online. Let's go in there. So you have yours in there. So we are going to modify the Slicer. There we have it. So the first thing we need to write is the name of the visual. And in this case, it's called Slicer. So let's go back. And this one is called Slicer. Let's try not to make grammatical mistakes. Style name, as I mentioned, not sure what I need to do with that. Uh, on all the templates I found, it was star. So I'm going to leave it a star. And then the card name. So what we said that we wanted to change, uh, if we go back in here, it was this uh, dear, selection controls. And we have it here. So selection controls is called in the JSON file selection. So what we need to write is actually selection. No. Uh, Yes, we need to write here 
selection because that is the name of the card. And here we need to write the name of the property. So the name of the property is, we go to properties and we have two, single select and select all check box name or I could have chosen something easier. Single select, let's start with that. And that will be single select. And here we want to activate it, so we write true, comma, because we're going to write a second one that was called as much as that one. And then we write true. And that is the properties for selection. So with that, we don't need to write anything else. If we didn't want to change anything else, that's all the code that we need. Because this one closed that one and that one closed that one. And then we will, of course, need a comma to put it in to our code here. But we said that we also wanted to change, let's go back, the header. So a header is called a header. And we are, this is closing that one, so you can see. So we need to put a comma. And then here is called a header, we said. And then we need to put those brackets. And in there we need to change. Let's see what we need to put. Because we want to change header, we go to properties. And uh, we wanted to change, we said um, header show. Okay, let me see. That's why the images are so useful. We want to change... I need to put the properties also. I haven't had the time actually. But we need to... Outline is called. And to be able to have an outline, we need to actually show the header. So we need to have show as true and then outline. Let's do it in steps. So here we put show. And then we said that would be true, comma. And now outline. And that outline is there. These are the options that we have. And we said that we wanted to have both bottom only, okay? So that's the one that we are going to write. And all the strings you have to put between these commas, right? Bottom only. And uh, we're good to go. So now that we have our code, we're going to put it in alphabetical order, even if it's not in there, we just paste it in. And here's the thing, you'll know if you've done it right, if Power BI doesn't complain when you import it in your file, okay? So let's save it in. Uh, we go here to our template. You can see here I have a slicer and um, I'm going to import the file. It was successfully imported, which is good. If you have overridden the settings for any reason, you won't see the changes. So you have to, if this is yellow, it means that something has been applied manually. You have to remove it. And you see, when I remove it, here we have the line. And we have this both on. So it's working beautifully. So I, I really hope this will help you, you know, create your JSON files. 
it takes a little bit of time to learn how to do it. Not all the functions work, even if you write them correctly. But when you have Power BI files that are a little bit big, or you actually want to create a theme for your organization, is critical. Um, otherwise, it takes for ever to create a proper Power BI file if you have to do everything manually. So um, I really hope that the template together with my um, theme, it actually helps you get started. Okay, so this is all for today. I really hope you enjoy the video. If you started your vacation, have a happy, happy vacation. And um, as usual, if you find the, this video interesting, just let me know by liking it. it. It really helps me understand the type of content that you like. If you know anybody that would like to also know how to do this, just make sure that you share. You have all the buttons down there uh, provided by YouTube. If you are new to the channel, I power publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Now on holidays, I will probably publish a little bit less, but normally it's three times a week. I talk about DAX, I talk about M, I talk about Power BI, so all kinds of things, Power BI things basically. Click the bell to receive notifications, don't forget that when I publish a new video and have a great day. Take care, bye!